the fact that so many people support Hillary Clinton, despite her corrupt, dishonest and sometimes criminal record is in itself a proof that we are very, very close to the end. In the book of Daniel it says that in the last days the knowledge will increase. One facet of this knowledge is the information pertaining to the corruption of our governments and our politicians. During this election campaign we learned how corrupt and dishonest Hillary Clinton is. So I have a hard time understanding how anybody could support Hillary Clinton in this presidential race. A few years ago, during the election of Bush vs. Gore, even though the US was divided, the contrast between Gore and Bush was not as stark as it is now between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. In addition there was no WikiLeaks. So back then, without all this knowledge freely available to all of us now, if someone supported Gore, it could be understandable, although personally I would not condone it. But in today's world, to choose Clinton over Trump is unexplainable, illogical and unfathomable to me. Clinton is a lying puppet of the globalist bankers, and picking her for president is beyond me. But the Bible explains how this is possible. The prophecy from the book of Daniel explains how it is possible that anyone would support crooked Hillary. It is a prophecy in the context of the end times. The verses are. Go your way, Daniel for the words are shut up and sealed until the time of the end. Many shall purify themselves and make themselves white and be refined, but the wicked shall act wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but those who are wise shall understand. The wicked shall not understand. Some people don't seem to be able to understand how bad it would be, for the whole world, if crooked Hillary got elected. Why so why don't they understand? Because none of the wicked shall understand. You need wisdom to understand and wisdom only comes from God. This prophecy parallels one in the book of Revelation. Do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is near. Let the evil doer still do evil, and the filthy still be filthy, and the righteous still do right, and the holy still be holy. To see this happening right before our eyes confirms that we are indeed very close to the end. There are those who are righteous and those who are evil. Their choices follow them. You cannot consider yourself righteous if you support a candidate with Hillary's record and views. Now if this message moved your heart or your conscience that means God wants you to come to him. Remember, he forgives, he saves, and he blesses. Don't ask him if he wants you to vote for Hillary or Trump, because obviously, if you ever considered voting for crooked Hillary you have no connection to him now. Instead, ask him to forgive you, to save you, to show you his truth, and first of all to come into your heart. And then ask him to give you his Holy Spirit. You will never regret it, and I bet you will not be voting for crooked Hillary.